So what's one of the things I see killing young throwers all over? Why do they move so fast and hurry this up and it kills training, creates bad habits? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Tay Throws Nation, and in today's video, what we're going to talk about is a simple thing that we've seen literally all the way halfway around the world and all over the United States. It's a simple thing that happens with young throwers, and we're going to tell you why and why you need to stop doing it. So today, we're going to break that down. And what is that? We're talking about we don't want you to finish the throw, and you're going to say, "Well, what do you mean, Coach? I'm supposed to smash the crap out of it so I can throw really far." What we're talking about specifically is as we go through drills, what we tend to see is a lot of young throwers and they get really active and they're moving the upper body into the throw too early. One of the things we recommend that you do, click the link below if you've never grabbed it. We have a free rotational throws mini course and a glide mini course and we break down the throwing chain reaction system and explain to you more in depth about the six pillars. So as we talk about this in these videos, you're going to have a better understanding of some of the reference points that we're making in positions in the ring. So specifically, as we get throwers and they kind of walk through and they're going to hit, they start doing this stuff. And the thing that we see with throwers all over the world is we see them coming through and they walk through and we're coaching them and they go like this and they practice finishing throw. What you want to do is get in the habit of working how the lower body has got a sequence prior to the upper body. So whether you come from the school of opening the arm or you want to kind of hold it back, either case, the lower body has to create it has to be leading the throw to create the separation. The hip has to be ahead of the shoulder so that you're gonna be accelerating the implement. And in the case of the discus, you're gonna be accelerating the radius. So if you notice when I put on the band and I hit my block and I get that out, you're gonna see how I'm gonna stretch that band over here. If I'm throwing in the shot and I hit my block, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get the hip ahead and I'm gonna be lifting the hip. We have to get the lower body ahead of the upper body. So one of the things we want you to do is as simple as as you walk through throws. In our system, we talk about pillar, f that's three, four, five. We want to basically, once we get here to our pillar five, locking down power in the power position, the start of the power position, we're going to want to make sure we're not actively trying to do this. And what so many young throwers do is they just want to hitting the throw. That's the easy part. Getting yourself in the habit of allowing the lower body to go ahead first, that's the real key. If you'd like to learn more information about how to learn the throws and the complexity of the throws and simplify that so that you can get big results, something that we've proven over and over again, again, grab that mini course below. Check out the link below on the throwing chain reaction system for coaches and throwers because every pillar we're talking about, we have nine drills specifically just to teach you the proper mechanics. And what we do is show you how to put together positions, train the unnatural movements, train those positions, and how to put those positions together, what we call pillar connection, where we're working on the more sequential movement, rhythm, timing, all those sorts of things. As we dive into track season, or we're starting to go, don't open the throw. Good reminder, everybody who's attended our camps. And so thanks so much. Hopefully you guys like this video. Be sure to comment below, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you on the next video. We're gonna be coming through what we call double bend legs, and then we're gonna be kind of lifting this way. And you're gonna notice that the hip is gonna be coming in the throw. 